Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. Calvin Coolidge, the 30th president of the United States. How you guys doing today? This is Day, AK the Rogue Millionaire, and I wanted to share that quick quote with you guys because I think it's so important for people to really understand what the power of persistence can do for you in your life. No matter what business you're in, no matter where you are in your life, whether you're in, still in school, you're out of school, you have a job, you have your own business, no matter where you are, if you are persistent in whatever you choose to do, you will be successful. And I think a lot of times people get caught up in, you know, wanting to quit when they don't get their, uh, I guess, the, the results they want right away. But you got to realize you have to persist through and through and through until you get what you want. You got to have the attitude that I will not be denied, you know. No matter what it takes, I'm going to stay. I have staying power. If you really, really want something, you want something in your life, you have to be willing to be persistent through the good times, through the bad times, when you think you're failing. The key to failing is you have to fail forward. And you have to realize that it's not a failure if you learn from it, you know. So when you fail, don't fail to learn the lesson. Take the lesson away from where you failed and keep going and remain persistent. And today on our Think and Grow Rich call, you know, we discuss really being persistent in your business and just in your life and how far you can go when you're really persistent. And I know from my own life personally, being persistent has really got me the results that I wanted. You know, I'll tell a quick story. When I uh, first got overseas, for you guys who don't know, I played basketball professionally overseas for a number of years. In my first season overseas, you know, I was in Estonia, the country of Estonia. You probably never even heard of it, you know. And I was in that country, and I came over, and my expectations were like through the roof. It's like, all right, I'm playing professionally. I'm out of college. Now it's time to take it to the next level. And when I got over there, I literally was on the worst team in the country. Honestly, we, we were the worst team in the country. I got there. It was nothing like I expected, you know. My, my teammates, a lot of them were younger. You know, our coach had never really coached before. And it was just a disarray. And a lot of people, if they would have came into that situation, they would have quit. They would have said, I'm going home. That's it, you know. I had never been on a losing team. I'm, I'm used to winning. I'm used to being, you know, a winner. So to come into that kind of environment and, and be the worst team in the league, I had two choices, you know. I could quit and go home and look for another team, or I could persist. And for me, I've never been a quitter. I don't quit on anything. I don't quit on anything because it's just not in me to do that. And I decided to persist. And I stayed with that team, and I worked my butt off with that team because I knew the harder I worked, the harder my teammates would work, all right? And even though they weren't as skilled and talented as me, I knew that if I raised the bar for myself, that would automatically raise the bar for them. And it did. And we worked our butts off that season. We ended up finishing third in the country that season. Third. We were the worst team in the league. And we finished third, okay? The following year, you know, I'm like, all right, well, I had a great season average, about 25 points a game, 10 rebounds. I was the best player in the country. I said, all right, I'm going somewhere else now. I'm going somewhere, you know, a better team. And lo and behold, you know, the offers that uh, I wanted didn't come my way. And... I had received an offer from the same team again to go back to the same team in the same country. And at first, you know, I said, no way, I'm not going back. But then I had to realize something. You know, there's a reason why I was led to that offer. There's a reason why that offer was the offer that was sitting on the table for me. And I said to myself, you know what, I have unfinished business, right? Because I left that country in third place. And I like to leave in first place. I always want to be a winner. I want to be on top. So I made a decision to go back to Estonia for my second season, right? This is my second year playing professionally. This is my second year I go back to the team, you know? And our team's gotten a little better, but I went back with the intent of we are going to win the championship. Did I know how? No, I just said we're going to do it. So I traveled there, and I worked my butt off all season long. And I even went through issues with my team not being paid, but no matter what, I wasn't going to give up. 
And you know what? At the end of that season, I was the MVP of the league, and we had won the championship in Estonia. You can go look it up. Davina Payne, Estonia, we won. 2010. It was our championship. And that's what this quote really means to me. So I'm going to read it one more time before I, I end this. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. So I read that to you guys one more time so it can sink in, guys. You must persist in whatever you're doing. I don't care what your dreams are, what your goals are. You can achieve it. I don't just say this just to say it. I say it because I believe it. You can achieve whatever you want if you will just have the determination and the persistence to press on through the trying times. So I hope this message reaches you guys in good spirits. I hope right now you're making a decision to go after the things that you want, to find the opportunity to take hold of the opportunity that's in your life right now to press on and reach your dreams. This is my message for the day. I'm signing out. This is Day AK, the Rogue Millionaire. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And remember to press on to your dreams. You can have it all. Believe in yourself.